Sadly, one of the things we see in our city is uh, the decline of churches. Uh, churches growing older uh, and some closing. In fact, over the last couple of years, 200 churches in our city have closed and many of those buildings are up for sale now. My name is David Grange and I am uh, a missionary with In Faith. It's what Jesus calls us to do. Go where the gospel is is not preached. Go make disciples of all the nations. And the nations have come here to South Philadelphia. And uh, we have an opportunity to, to share the gospel with refugees and immigrants. When many believe, God is glorified. We live in our neighborhood where it's called incarnational living, where we live with our neighbors and we seek to get to know them and to share their joys and their pain. And at the same time, um, be able to share the gospel and the way we live alongside them. Our vision is to see a multi-ethnic church grow here. Um, the neighborhood is diverse and we'd like to have a church that reflects that diversity. Uh, we try to come alongside people where they're at and, and show them that there's hope in Jesus. Our food ministry consists of going to pick up the food. Uh, they come back, we sort the food, we put it into uh, boxes and then just go out and find families where we know of that, that are uh, in need. We knock on the door, we, we give the food, um, and then we sometimes have opportunity to talk to them, pray with them. Although we're in, in this corner of Philadelphia, South Philadelphia, we've had the opportunity to minister to people from as far away as Cambodia and Africa. When a person comes as a refugee, it's very um, scary. There's a language difference, there's a cultural difference. They've already experienced a lot of trauma usually because they come from refugee camps. They need some hope. <laughs> and we have the greatest hope of all, Jesus. It's amazing that God is bringing the nations to our uh, neck of the woods. And it's our privilege to come alongside them, encourage them, help them to, uh, uh, to get acclimated to their new country, and uh, then to share the good news of Jesus Christ. As you reach your local community, it has far-reaching effects across the world, around the globe. And uh, that's a powerful thing. We can make a difference locally that, is, that goes far beyond our communities. So one day we, we were having church service and 50 Congolese refugees showed up at our church. And uh, we decided to invite them to come in. And ever since, that was about three years ago, we have a Swahili English uh, service every Sunday. Yes, we feel like family and we like the pastor because he always encourages people to be together, to worship together. So. There's no division among people who believe Jesus. Today was sort of the highlight of our year because we got our congregations together. We have six congregations that we host. Uh, we all got together for World Communion Sunday. And it was a celebration of uh, our unity and of course an opportunity to mark uh, the Lord's Supper together. When you begin to see God move like that, you must get behind it with prayer. Honor is the only place where we're called to outdo each other. Yeah. Imagine us doing that, right? What the city would look like if everyone was outdoing, each other. out honoring, out serving one another. Yeah. Yeah. Philadelphia would really be the city of brotherhood. Brother. <laughs>